Good morning. This is Hydrosol Lipoplasty System by Andrew Technologies. And today we are going to go through the steps on how to set it up and take it down, as well as filming live in the OR a patient and Dr. Stephen Cohen using the device. Step one, the Hydrosol Lipoplasty System. Simply turn on the power. It is located in the back next to the power plug, as well as the two outlets for the foot pedals. Simply depress it once or active. Step two in setting up the device is connecting the aspiration tubing to the waste canister. Step three, hanging a saline bag. And it's best with Hydrosolve to use three liter saline bags as you don't have to change them out nearly as often. This is a sterile treatment kit for Hydrosolve. Sterile packaging, place to the side. Now we'll open the STK, the sterile treatment kit for Hydrosolve. Present this to the circulating nurse. Step five is so loading the STK, the sterile treatment kit for Hydrosolve. First step is to take the high pressure hose bag, sterile bag, and attach it to the side of the, con the neck so that you have room and space to load the cartridge. Next, we open the door for the STK and open the top of the peristaltic pump. Step five, loading the STK into its port. First thing to do in this application is simply to press this, the lever that holds the pump of the STK. And then you simply slide the entire cartridge into its slot, more or less like a book in an empty shelf. Make sure the pump lines up and push it firmly in. Depress the lever and make sure that it's at a 90 degree angle flush against the pump. To ensure the SDK is properly loaded, push all the way to the back until it stops and ensure that the, the press lever comes to a 90 degree angle and flush with the pump housing. Continuing with step five, loading the Hydrosol sterile treatment kit, you must ensure that all the tubing from the kit is in its proper channel. Beginning with the sailing bag spike, continuing on with the recirculating tubing from the STK into the peristaltic pump, shut door, and lastly, the high pressure hose line in the furthest right channel available. And then you simply close the door. Step six in the Hydrosolve setup, once the cartridge has been loaded, you simply need to spike the saline bag. Please ensure once the bag is spiked that you open the clamp to ensure that gravity will feed the saline into the STK. Continuing with step six, after the spike has been made of the saline bag, gravity simply feeds saline into the STK cartridge, which holds 800 cc's worth of saline. Before the STK is fully loaded with saline to the 800 cc mark, the status message on the hydrosol readout will say fluid level low. At that point, you cannot turn the heaters on yet. Once the STK has filled 800 cc's of saline, your status message will change and stay ready for heating, turn on heater. Here's the on off button for the heater. Simply press once. And now the heater will go to your desired temperature. In most cases, we use the medium setting. Immediately upon turning on the heater, you'll notice the status says, temperature 71 Fahrenheit. However, since I hit the medium setting, our target is 115 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll take two to three minutes for the heaters to get it up to that temperature. The temperature gauge you can obviously change from Celsius or Fahrenheit. Right now we have it at Fahrenheit. If you'd like Celsius, there's your Celsius. If you like Fahrenheit, there's Fahrenheit. 